Hello awesome people and welcome back to Software Inc. It's a new season of this game. It is an incredible game. Uh, first off, I want to thank all of you guys for having such a great uh, input on the last two series of uh, Software Inc. and the new alpha. It has been amazing for the channel. We grew a lot and a lot of you guys have been helping me out tremendously with tips and tricks. Uh, hence, we're actually starting a new season because the last season was going pretty well. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We had lots of good, cool stuff going on. But with all you, all you guys helping out, um, we could actually do a lot better than what we have been doing. Uh, and there are also other things that I want to show off in this new season. Um, but before we actually start about this season and the journey we're gonna go on, uh, I have to talk a little bit about how this series is gonna work. Um, so basically we have a three days upload schedule for the series, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you wanna know that, then you, know, you now know that. <laughs> uh, if you are not subscribed yet to the channel, then please make sure to subscribe because a whopping 80% of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Uh, so if you're here, make sure to click that subscribe button to not miss out on a single episode of this amazing series. It's going to be amazing, trust me. Uh, but also to not miss out on any other series that we're going to play in the future or, uh, or that we're playing right now. Um, so that's that being said. Uh, also, last series we had a lot of cool names coming in from you guys asking for to be a designer or whatever. Um, I really enjoyed it, uh, we, we will probably bring it back at some point, but first off, um, we have some Patreons at this point, and the Patreons actually, they will be added into the game first. Uh, so if you want to make sure to get your name in the game, then please make sure to go to the Patreon page, the link is down in the description of this video. Uh, and from the second tier and above, you will get your name in this game, but also in other games that we play, so make sure to do that, uh, it's very cool. Uh, and there's also a lot of other cool rewards to be gotten there if you are interested in that. Um, so thank you so much for, you know, in that case, supporting the channel that little bit extra. Um, that being said, let's talk about our journey in this uh, new season. Now, last season we did some uh, cool stuff with making money from the start and everything and, and why uh, certain things work and why other things don't, in my opinion, uh, at least. Uh, this season we're going to do it a little bit, little bit different. Um, we're going we're gonna to be kind of like a gaming company, so we're going to make games. Um, so that's going to be the first, uh, we're going to make a game, the uh, first ever product is going to be a game. We of course need the money to do that. Um, this first episode, we will go on a little bit longer with the gameplay because I will be talking a lot about what we're going to do this, uh, in, in this season. Uh, it's kind of the, the thing about first episodes. Uh, and if you're new here, our company is called Hipbone Inc. Uh, it's a company that goes way back to our first season of, uh, of Software Inc. Um, it's a, it's a decent company. Uh, Myself, I am the leader. I'm called Hipbone, uh, for those pe people who did not know that yet. Uh, and for this playthrough, we're gonna be making me a mean and stubborn guy, which I promise that's not the case in real life. But you know, that's what everybody says. Uh, although a lot of YouTubers actually say that they're, they are mean and stubborn, uh, just you know, to get a laugh. But I'm tr I promise you, I'm not mean and stubborn. Uh, which gives us a, a kind of a bit more hard workish than, than Fast Learner. I'm okay with that, hard working is, is good. Uh, I like Fast Learner. Um, but you know, we in, in this in this series we we learned in, in last years that hiring low skilled workers is not the best anymore. Um, so we're gonna do it like, like a sort of a compromise. Um, we're gonna go for medium skilled workers at least at the beginning because they have the skill to actually do stuff that we need them to do. But they also are a little bit more um, formable. We can still make them do. Uh, Basically, get the, get them the specializations that we want. If you if you hire a high skilled worker, they do come with certain special uh, a certain set of specialization already set. Of course, you can get can get some great people there. Um, but I like to basically make them a little bit myself uh, in what do I in, in what I really want of them. Um, so we're also really independent, uh, which is not the best for a leader. So that's gonna be it's kind of like a challenge, and we are basically in the middle of lazy and stressed. I feel like you should, everyone, you should be in the middle here. Um, I've I've said this a lot a, a, a lot over the course of the, the different series that we did, but I just don't like people that are lazy uh, because they won't do do their job. Uh, but people that are stressed eventually won't do their job also because uh, <clears throat> they're just too stressed to actually do anything. Um, and I kind of been bitching about <laughs> all those workers. Um, so yeah, uh, let's actually see. We have our development over here. We have three stars in system uh, and in programming uh, or system and designing, of course. Uh, we have 2D, uh, two stars, uh, programming two stars for, uh, for 2D. And we have 2D art three stars. Um, 
if we go then into the leader tab we have one in hr so we can handle complaints and salaries that's basically me being a bit lazy uh saying you know i don't want to handle with these complaints uh the rest i'm going to do myself i will handle my own education of people and i will handle the hiring myself uh socialization is full so we can actually hold meetings and socialize and everything uh this will counter work work a little bit with the uh, independent being so we can be a little bit more so less social if we can do all of this uh, and we have multitasking of course to improve our effectiveness automation we will hopefully learn a little bit about that during the playthrough uh, so let's now go into service uh, service uh, basically support uh, we're probably never going to do any service with this character um, probably at the point that we actually need to do some service and support we will probably uh, go into uh, an, an entire dedicated service team um, so we don't have to worry about that uh, so let's go back to the development section and now let's go to look, take a look at our skills so I've allocated the skill points as follows so I just took away all the skills from service and artists we don't really need that um, I kept a little bit in designer so that we can actually start working with this on the design of the new product straight away whilst we're doing other tasks. Uh, we don't have to hire a designer immediately. Um, I'm, also, I'm also pretty good at programming and leading, so that is what we're going to go with. We're starting in 1980 on medium difficulty, uh, no loan, just 9,000 bucks in the, in the bank. And we're playing on one day per month uh, so that we can get by a little bit quicker um, than last season so that we can make sure that we have uh, more stuff to be seen in this entire series. Let's pick a map. Uh, the map we're playing on is actually made by Laden Warrior. Um, if you want the link uh, to this one, to the rental reception, uh, I will post all of the mods that we're using in a mod list on the Discord. So if you're not part of that, then make sure to go to the Discord and, and uh, the link is down in the description of this video. And uh, make sure to go there and you will check it. You can check it all out. You can also ask me questions uh, about it over there uh, pretty easily. So that is always a good job. So, okay, let's go in and let's start our journey. And here we are. So this is the plot we have. We have a lovely uh, sort of, <coughs> sorry, a lovely sort of parking garage. Um, with a nice little area over here where they can come up and down with their with the elevators uh, we have this little like open area on the on the top uh, if we can go down one level we will see that this is basically uh, where the heating station everything works uh, this, this is what uh, what works with that we have some little rooms there elevators of course if we then go down this is basically how the most of the building looks um, you have these rooms which are basically development rooms um, and you have some meeting rooms um, here's like that this is like a meeting room uh, we can put like a canteen maybe somewhere we have well, we will have to see uh, we have this is the ground floor uh, and the good thing about this building that Ladon Warrior made it, it also has a basement so you, you can lease all of this um, and make sure this is actually already leased or this is actually already a, a lease so we can actually build some stuff there I'm thinking we can use it because it doesn't say that we have to lease it this we have to lease this little toilet um, but we can also build some people a, a, like a little office for some people down here if we don't really like them for instance uh so let's go back up and then, because this is where we're going to start uh, basically we have this little room over here um we have to lease this little bit this is a bit weird but this is counted counted as a different room so we have to lease that to actually be able to um use the lounge and the meeting room and everything uh, otherwise if you don't lease this they won't be able to go in here basically um which is a kind of a bit weird but that's okay so let's start off with building so again if you want the furniture mods and everything go to the discord uh server they're in the mod list over there so let's put two two desks down here and we will uh start working on them i will keep this desk well actually we can just delete this desk we will just copy it over once we need it for now we don't need to uh, so let's put a computer down. Let's put a nice chair down. Um, let's let's do a wall lamp right here, facing away from the windows that we have over here. Over here. Um, what else do we need? Uh, let's see. Let's see. We will put in. Um, we will put in a nice little plant, to, a cactus uh, there. Let's put a clock right here so that they can see it from where they sit. That they can actually watch it and see how long they still have to work um <laughs> let's put that one in because this is going to be my computer it'll be my computer uh we will set up all the teams and all, and all of that in a second um and let's see do we still need some more i don't think we need we necessarily need a lot more than that so if we just pull it away from now whoops that is not what i wanted to do 
Um, so you will be moved and you will be put like that. So we have two of those. Uh, let's put a nice little pot of plant down here in the middle. And then we can have we have space for another desk over here. I don't want to make these these rooms too crowded because uh, people don't really like that. Um, I think that with one more lamp with, on the other desk, we will be able to uh, <coughs> to uh, to get the 400 lux max uh, for this one. Uh, do we need a security cam? We can't really build a security cam over here because we we are not allowed to build here because it's um, uh, basically this is this is a rental building, so it's not our building. Uh, both employees have their own toilet, which is always nice. I, I tend to forget to put in a lot of toilets. Um, and that's actually it. We don't need more for now. Pro no, we don't need more than that. Uh, what I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to put a picture frame there, just so that that wall isn't that empty. Uh, so let's now go back and let's now st set everything up. So let's open this up so we can actually see a little bit more. So let's do change roles. First of all, I'm going to be a leader and I'm going to be doing design, programming, and that's it. That's what I do. The rest I don't care about. We're good at leading a code and we have some design skills, so we should be able to, to manage that. Um, so that's that. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we will go into manage team. So I'm gonna set everything up that I want to do uh, right now. So core team, the core team is gonna be renamed. It's gonna be called the dev one team. In this series, we're gonna have development teams, art teams, design teams, service teams, uh, and maybe a research team at some point. Uh, it's gonna be called Dev one because I'm planning on having um, uh, on having a second one uh, later on, and maybe even a third or fourth one. Uh, so I'd like them to work from nine to five. Uh, why, I don't know, it's just my preferred times, I guess. Uh, and they can go on vacation the entire year uh, if they have, if they want to go at some, you know, I, I'd rather have miss someone at some point, um, basically a random, a random month than just having to miss everyone on a single month. Uh, that's kind of uh, what I'm going here for. Um, so HR management, we're gonna set this up. This is gonna be 25,000 uh, budget. You can handle wages and handle complaints and that's it. And because we're a leader with one star in HR, we can actually immediately start doing that even though we don't have any employees yet. So the other team that we're gonna have is we're gonna have a service, whoops, a service one team. Uh, we're gonna add that in. We're gonna have a design one team, and this all is gonna have the, uh, the the one behind it because we might be having more than just the one at some point. So art one, let's put it in. Boom. Um, so you, let's make sure they work. Um, so you, 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 vacation months, twelve months, and HR management. You can actually select all of these. If you didn't know that, you can select them all uh, by holding Shift or Control and basically click on them. Uh, and then you can just set the rules for every every single one of them. So if you now click out of this, you can see your free teams. When I click out of this, you can see that HR is set for for this one. This has the same one as this one now, twenty five thousand and the two. So they don't, they don't use HR because they don't have a, have a leader yet. They, they they basically don't have any employees yet, but they will start doing that. So that's now being set up. Now let's start working on our first product. Now our first product is going to be a game, like I said. Uh, the game is going to be called, and this is, comes from a Patreon of mine called Amber Zack. She wanted to call this game the Duck Simulator. It's actually from last season, but last season we didn't come to uh, actually to the point where we could start making games. Um, so yeah, we now have a Duck Simulator. Uh, it's going to be, of course, a simulation game. Um, <coughs> sorry, uh, and uh, we'll set a price accordingly. Uh, I don't need to do this in the future, so let's just go to the advanced. I like the advanced tab more. Um, do we want to make a framework? Yes, we do. Um, we want to make a framework for a uh, sim game, sim game framework one. Uh, this is the, this is the one because we're probably going to make more than that. Um, well, actually, do we want to make a framework? Actually, no. Let's not use a framework for now. Let's first start getting good at stuff and have more people, so that, so that we will don't waste time on making frameworks. Frameworks are pretty good because other other people can use them and then make and you will make money out of it. Um, but I feel like we can be quicker if we just do it like this. Um, we're missing, we're not missing that. <coughs> they say we're missing the, all this stuff, but we're not missing these guys. We have a free design skill, a free star skill in design. Um, this should be good. And audio should be, have a, we should have a one star. We, at some point we will, we will hire a guy that can do that. Um, actually, we don't even have to do that. We don't even have to do that. We can't get these guys to work. So if we just do all of this, 
oh we will have 100 percent actually these are pretty easy um we can get we can get rid of physics we can get rid of open world um we put in adaptive music it doesn't help out that much uh actually this is good this is good 91 percent. we might use the sliders a little bit more to get some more interest maybe maybe we will maybe we won't okay our pricing is going to be 60 bucks we're going to be way under the original price that they're going to set for it uh, because we need to make a name for ourselves first so next page uh we're going to use print styles 2 uh sure what's the newest ones print styles 4 let's use that one way better i guess audio tool whoops release uh this is but this is 1970 tech so this this is the, in the only one we can actually use here amplitude play four uh we will add remove we will add we will actually remove all of them and we will add them ourselves we will check what type of uh thing we will do, we'll do. one million the x3 um uh actually you two you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for the this this one this one has the most uh most people active on it uh probably they will start releasing newer ones uh so at that point we are just gonna port it to that one to those ones uh as soon as we need them actually i'm gonna do this because we want some music <laughs> i'm still baffled by the fact that that actually helps with the music with putting the music on but still uh, so yeah we're gonna release on the x3 uh but we're gonna port to other other interesting systems uh operating systems once we are there um so that it says approximately two years that's okay we don't get the speed boost which is totally fine uh 91 percent, 93 we will go down if we go to the middle we get 94 99 and uh, there's 100 over here is 100 <coughs> percent. so mostly focused on gameplay and story not really on, on graphics uh that's totally fine by me it's 100 percent interest so the consumer reach of one it's like over 1 million which is good um so the, the, this is why these are guys are showing up as red by the way it's set on service team because we made some some new teams um so we will do design dev one if we ever get a design team already before we actually are done with designing this uh it will work uh and we will now have to put this in dev one boom actually we will put the art with it because uh oh well, missing a level zero to the artist uh okay Oh yeah, I'm not doing art. Well, we can enable that at some point. I'm not going to use publishers because uh, I feel like now if you if you want to use a publisher, you immediately get a release date, um, which is kind of annoying in my eyes. So I'm not going to use these. Uh, it, it was kind of nice to do the marketing, but it's not really useful right now to me because I, I, don't, I want to have set my own release dates, basically. So that's it. Let's develop it. Uh, yes, I'm sure we will. Yes, I'm sure we will be fine. Um, <coughs> we, we're just taking a, a little bit of a gamble here. Uh, so let's go full speed ahead and there we go. So we are losing money because we bought our stuff and we, uh, we are basically paying some rent. Um, but let's now start off with some easy contracts. So easy, easy contracts. Let's do uh, design it will be design and dev. And the development team will be the dev slash art team. So now we have that set up for, uh, for later. So Duck Simulator, we're gonna we're going to work on that, but this is gonna be the more important stuff. So we don't have to really make a very good product here. Um, you don't get that much of a bonus when you do that. So we're just gonna release uh, a few of them very fast so that we will get some money. With that money, what we're gonna do is okay. I have to set myself as being an artist, or we just with this money we just hire an artist straight away. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what we do. Let's just copy this over over here. And let's get an artist straight away an artist slash designer so let's replace this um this is kind of a risk uh in my test game i did not do this uh i, di I did take a designer slash artist later on so we're gonna take an artist who is good at 2d art sure uh we're gonna go medium paid we're gonna look for this guy or girl of course um we need you in for now let's put you in a dev team or maybe maybe no let's put you in a, in the dev team for now that that works out the easiest <coughs> so you are actually mean and stubborn too oh i like you already uh, you know what that's that's not bad you also have some designing skill and you're good at arts which we're looking for of course you're good at 2d art so that is what we're looking for you're 40 so not the oldest one um you are not that yeah you know, actually i like you Reed Blair. here you go uh you have limited funds i know we just we just we'll take a risk okay so let's give you this computer and let's then go in over here and first of all we need to rename you uh because you will be renamed after 
uh, Amber Zach, who I already mentioned, uh, she is uh, a patron of mine and she came up with the Duck Simulator name in the last series, uh, but we're using it in this season. Uh, but she is a patron and she will be uh, given the name to be joining our, uh, our company as one of the first ones. So Amber Zach, welcome. You are going to be, uh, to me, you're going to be a designer and artist. Um, so yeah, that is what you will be doing and tomorrow you will be coming in. Um, I'm guessing the rest of the day we'll, we'll, we will just work on this. Um, until we are, you know, we are done. Uh, we don't have any anything that we can work on. I could enable uh, myself to do some art and just do the easy art contracts because you don't have, have to actually have any skill to really fulfill those. Um, but it's not, it's not, you know, what we really want to do. So let's accept two more contracts when we come in now. Uh, and as you can see, they're going up. Uh, we will see them over here. They're doing a meeting right here. Uh, they will do that uh, periodically. It will take some time away from development and everything, but it's okay. It's okie dokie. Let's finish all of these. Uh, let's see. Let's take two more and let's accept them. And this is how we're going to work. Basically, we're going to easily work uh, on on our on our system and on our company like this. Just getting some more money in with the contract work that we're doing right here. And this is actually pretty fast to do. Um, this is the old school way of doing it, of doing things, of getting your money <coughs> at the start of the game. Um, so yeah, this is actually the, the easiest way of doing stuff. Um, we are now in a meeting again and we're back. Amazing. So the only fa thing I, I need to worry about is the computers, their, sta their state. They don't, we don't want them to go down too much uh, and we will call uh, basically uh, maintenance, uh, IT support. Sorry, if uh, if we if we need to let's develop these, let's just make sure they are good enough. Good enough is good enough. We will get some money from them, um, and that is good enough. So, like I said, good enough is good enough. Uh, we also have the money to now put, buy our stock, our first piece of stock. Uh, we still have some money to pay rent and everything. We can develop these. And uh, are we done? No. We're heading towards bankruptcy. We have to pay a little bit for that, but that's okay. Um, and we're done with these contracts. So let's finish again. That's another thing we're, we're still going to do. We're still going to going to take that in. Okay, these now we actually need to go like this um, and sort on this. So actually, let's do these two and work on this. And whilst we're doing this, we're, we're all the time we're, we're developing our first game. So we're not really losing that much money, uh, that much time on starting develop, uh, starting to develop stuff. Um, so that is, that's a plus in this system too. Uh, and working on these contracts a little bit is actually way better to just do it like this um, than having the bigger designing deals and everything because they will take much more time for, uh, from your people than, than just doing stuff like this, which can easily be uh, developed. So probably after today we will go in. Well, actually, how old is this computer? Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same state. So we can finish that one. We can finish that one and we can finish this one. So we have finished a lot of contracts again, and let's go in and back in. We have three, so I'm not gonna go up here un unless we, 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 we need to, um, because those are the harder are the harder uh, contracts, um, which is not bad because we can still do them. I think we can even finish them you know, quite decently. Um, but the problem with those is, is that um, they will take more time and we definitely have to focus on them. Let's buy some more stock for ourselves and let's t keep working on this. Whilst we're, once we're actually, quite far with this one, we will actually start hiring uh, probably two more programmers on this little uh, thing down here. And once we're getting close to release of this, we will actually start working on, on more and more of the stuff that we're, we need to. So like, like service teams and everything. And probably at that point, we will hire a design team. Only at that point. So we're not starting off the same way as we did in the last season. <coughs> so we have uh, 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 Zach who is sick. So hopefully she's not on vacation next month. Otherwise we have to pay for these contracts not finishing. Uh, I always could set myself to do some, a little bit of art because this is not the hardest hardest thing to do. Uh, okay, yeah, we need to definitely hire some IT. Uh, normally I like to do that one once the people are gone, but if we do it now, we are going to a meeting. Oh, we actually hire them. I want to call them, sorry. And there they are. They fixed the computers, like you can see 100%, which is very good. And now we can just promote all of these. We are almost true to iteration two with this one, which is pretty, pretty darn good actually. Let's work on these and get some more money in. Whilst we're working on our game, this is going to be the uh, the thing that we're going to do quite a lot actually. Um, in the beginning, we're going to do a lot of these contracts. 
make sure that we got enough money to to buy our own stocks and at some point then start working on more people uh we're gonna play for like half an hour in this first episode so we still have like five minutes more more to go uh around five minutes ago uh, i think ember's is on vacation yeah she is um so what we could do we could work on some okay we only have embedded system and logistic applications which are programming jobs so we can do them ourselves we can just work on them ourselves and that's probably already good enough we don't really have to do more now we're making good progress actually we're making good progress we're already in iteration two which we're working on right now <coughs> and we're making actually quite decent decent money we only have one more stock left to uh, left to buy, so we need another 45,000. If you buy them later on, by the way, you can do that. But once you release your first things, uh, these stocks will go up. If if your products are successful, of course, they will go up. Um, so it's I recommend just buying them first because uh, you will be a lot cheaper cheaper at that point. And if you if your first uh, product is not good enough. Uh, and you are running a debt or for some reason you at some point run a debt you can always sell them you can always sell your stock to get more money back because these will be worth like in the millions at some point um but yeah for now not not yet uh game assets uh actually we could do we could do this one it is a little bit more money and we have we have a, a pretty good artist who can work on this so this should be good enough it needs to be finished this month, but that will not be a problem, I guess. There we go. We okay. I was pausing it, but at, at the same point that they, they were going to a meeting, so let's finish this. Uh, so now we have enough money to buy our last stock, which is amazing. Now we can save up some money to get some more um, people actually to work on what we're doing here. We can also we can also go over this logistics application. I think we're good enough at this point that we can do that. So let's develop this and let's finish it. Boom. This needs to be a bit better, so we need to work on it a little bit harder. We're running, we're running to bankruptcy. That's not true. That's because we bought some, um, bought some stock. We will do this. And do we have some? Yeah, we definitely have some easy, easy contracts to work on. So that's easy. And uh, that's another meeting. And there you go. Finish, finish, finished. Finish, and we get some more money, which is always good um let's see can we promote this we can almost promote it so this month you can release it we also have to release it this month so and there we go we have some extra money um with that being said we can work on these two uh, and we will also start to hiring we will also start to look into uh leasing another room so this room i want to lease that room that toilet that toilet and this little entrance area let's lease all of it and we have another room so if we now take this entire room whoops that's not what i wanted uh, if we now take all the furniture in, inside here and then duplicate it and put it right here and then we replace whoops we replace these two with uh calculators boom and there we go so we have you know have a programming room basically so we all we also set these two rooms uh to be deaf deaf rooms basically um because we're all part of the same team right now but that might change in the future that well that will change in the future uh, and we will hire some programmers because programmers will actually be very handy once this is going uh, into, into the actual work. And for now, they can just sit down and do some programming work on uh, contracts. So we're going to have a system programmer who is medium and who will fit in with our team. 32, you're mean and a snob. I like you. We're going to hire a lot of mean people. Willie Morrison, yeah, I like you a little bit less. Uh, actually, you are hired. Amanda Moore, you're hired. Uh, but straight away we're gonna change your roles uh, you are gonna be a programmer oh just click there you're gonna be a programmer part of dev1 uh, but we're gonna change your details because you're gonna change your name uh, Amanda Moore you are from now on known as Rav another patreon so uh, yeah if you want your name again then please make sure to go to the patreon page the link is down in the description uh, but we still need one more because we have two spots for them <laughs> so we are a hire another programmer and this programmer will be good in 2d uh well actually probably audio no we're, we're not really using audio so we don't need the stars in audio 2d yeah 2d it is uh we only have good ones you're pessimistic i mean i kind of like that too you're decent at leading and decent at design i'd rather have you actually you're really independent which is which I like. 
You're mean and introvert. Oh, Eddie Stone, welcome to the team. Hire. Um, so those guys will be setting over here. So Rav, you will be here. And Eddie Stone, who we're gonna rename in just a sec, is gonna be sitting over there. Eddie Stone, we're gonna change your role. You are a programmer and you are, from now on and forever, known as Creeper T. Another Patreon, so welcome. Welcome all of you, and uh, that's our team. That's our team for now. Uh, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. This has been the first episode of the new season. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, a whopping 80% of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet, so please make sure to do that. Uh, and if you are, you know, if you are willing to help the channel out a little bit more, then sharing the video is also a very, very good way of, uh, you know, growing our community and having more fun videos to, for, for other people to watch too. So that being said, as always, I've been Hippo and you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching.